Good morning, my friends, and welcome to another and yet the last episode of Heat. My name's Botch, and today we are going to war. We're going to go out fighting. I have here Lisa, who's all grown up and uh, well armed. Also, I have uh, Brad. We found Brad. I've promoted Brad to sergeant. And they are both heavily armed and ready for battle. Um, I have a field cannon on hand with plenty of shot, uh, as well as some dynamite, which unfortunately you can't throw. Apparently you have to, to set it down and, uh, and then it, you know, explodes in a few seconds later. Uh, to demonstrate, I thought I might blow up this bull masquerading as a cow. I have no idea if it'll work if it's asleep, so let's just find out. And you want to be clear away from it, of course. Yeah, it didn't really hurt the, the, the bull because it was asleep, but that's okay. Well, um, <clears throat> this being our last episode, I'm not going to bother harvesting the field. It looks like what happened here was uh, I didn't water them. <laughs> I was letting some some time elapse and I just didn't care anymore so I uh, decided to just kind of let it go and, and I think they just died. Um, so that's okay. We're not, not too concerned. Um, we're going to head up to the bandit camp nearby and we're going to attack with everything we got. I've got uh, Brad and Lisa on protect so my theory is that they will defend me after I fire my cannon shot but I first gotta set up the cannon which takes a moment um, I did a little practice uh, shot earlier just to kinda see how it works and man it takes a moment to set up the cannon so I thought I'll set this up here on the hill and rain hell down on the uh, camp below. So that's the plan. I don't know what kind of range it's got so we'll see how effective that is. And this is the camp that had uh, several NPCs and a pretty quick spawn rate so it should be fairly entertaining. Let's make sure my crew is still with me. Oh no. I just noticed on the radar they were not behind me. <laughs> Maybe I should have told them about the plan. Where are you at? Oh, there they are. They're just being slow. Alright guys, come on. Yeah, they're coming along. Alright, cool. So I made them both um, semi-automatic uh, rifles. And I too have an upgraded rifle. Uh, we've got each 125 uh, rifle rounds on us, so that should keep us in the fight for a while. Wow, they're slow. There you go, come along. Alright, so we're going to set up right here. You can see... Uh, I don't get too close to the railroad tracks, of course, but I can see the uh, NPCs, so let's just set up right here. Now, this is going to take a moment for the uh, cannon to actually commit to the, the uh, placement. So in the meantime, we'll just have a little bite to eat. I want to go to war on an empty stomach. They have food and they have water, so they're ready to go. We'll see what uh, Sergeant Brad is worth. It's kind of a field commission. Uh, what I realized is uh, Brad was not the NPC from Washington like I thought. Seems like they're all named Brad, so easy to get confused. But it turns out that Brad is actually um, a governor, uh, governor's assistant that I found back at the governor's mansion. As you can see, I went back to the governor's mansion and became governor because I realized that's where Brad came from. So, went back and got Brad uh, and conscripted him for the battle. 
All right, our field cannon is ready, and we're going to engage with this thing. Let's see. Well, first, we got to aim. Um, there's not really a reticle on there, so I don't know where that first shot's going to land. But uh, I think what happens is, you know, we can left and right like this. We can up and down like that. So let's just kind of give it a little bit of a uh, angle here. Let's head for the, let's aim for the fire. All right, here goes nothing. Load and fire. Nice. That was a good shot. I think I might have killed a couple of them. Uh, um, yeah, I think I might have hit two of them. Uh, let's, see, let's see if we can get this guy. I gotta reload. Oh, I nailed him. Ah, I, I guess I don't need you to. Let's go ahead and release the cannon. Let's see if we can get some uh, some action going here. I want to see if these NPCs will back me up in a fight. Oh yeah, we nailed him good. That's great. All right. Hey, yep, anytime guys. Anytime you want to go ahead and just jump in there. Oh. oh. Okay, okay. Maybe now that they've they've actually hit me. Oh wow, they're going to kill me if I don't bandage up soon. Let's get back to the cannon. up a little bit they're pretty far back I may have actually hit one of them I don't know let's reload yeah the uh, NPCs the armed NPCs seem to be utterly useless maybe if I was on my own turf they would help me out here but it looks like they are not really interested in attacking these innocent civilians for no reason at all Shoot a couple more cannon shot just to uh, clear them out. Now let's play some dynamite. I don't think he can blow up these tents, but that's exactly what we're going to try. Lisa's is on it. She distracted him anyways. Oh shit. Alright, that was a close one. Let's get bandaged up. Oh, she fired back at least. Probably only because she got hit. Alright, we got him. Not much on him really, but we knew that. Not even picking up anything. Uh, let's try blowing up another tent here. So you have to get it on the ground and it'll turn blue when you can set it down. There we go. Oh, I 
I think I just hurt Brad. Lisa's abandoned you due to mistreatment. Oh, it's on. Yeah, just stand there, Brad. I'll be with you in a moment. There you go. Alright, they weren't very useful anyways. Let's get back to the cannon. Alright, so pretty successful battle. We uh, only had two casualties, but they were really just not very useful anyways, and turned out Lisa uh, didn't appreciate being blown up by the dynamite, so, you know. Women. Am I right? I'm kidding. Um, I, yeah, I'd really like to see an NPC spawn just as I've got this placed. So they blow up. So I'm going to hang around for a minute and see if we can get one to fall into the trap. Or actually, you know what we could do? There's one, there's another camp not too far from here. I say we just kind of... Oh, hello. Never mind. Did it place? I don't think it plays. I don't think we got him. If you didn't have that shotgun, you wouldn't get a shot off. I might have to circle back to the cannon. That's okay, because our secret weapon, I think, is right about yay. They'll come running if I uh, shoot them like this. Let's try to get their attention. Because they were all on the other side there when they got me, so. Oh, hello. Yes, yes, come back. Come this way. load up. I'm honestly surprised that I can hit anything with that cannon. I did not think I would be able to. Oh, this guy's got some loot, let's see. Yeah, arrows. It seemed like arrows he was shooting. Where'd the other ones go? They were off? Oh, there. Are. Hide behind the tent, that's actually kind of smart. Oh. I'm not sure I'm impressed with the uh, auto shotgun, to be honest with you. I feel like I end up wasting more ammo than, 
hitting anything. Let's see if they're not following me. Hmm. I don't want to pack it up. So I think getting too close would be a death, death sentence, especially because my my uh, helpers are not very helpful. Um, can I click when it contains an item? Okay. I think we can just take that out. We can pick it up. All right, let's put it down over here. Set it right here. As close as we can anyways. Here we go. All right. While that's happening, I'll uh, see if I can lull them out. Oh, he got me. Two shots. That's all it took. Okay. Always a little disorienting when you uh, first land there. Why can't I run? There it goes. Let's uh, you can see him right there at the edge of the tent, but not anymore. That is just brutal. I mean, it's really kind of hard to miss at point blank range at that point. Oh man, yeah, and it tore them apart. You see that? The different uh, bits. Wow. Pretty cool. Alright. Well, that was pretty much all I had for this episode. I, you know, I've, I've really just exhausted everything that I feel like I can do. Um, I spent a lot of time grinding offline just to get to 50, and I was like, you know, I'm never going to get to 60 at this rate. And so I decided to just go ahead and, you know, and, and give it, you know, one last performance, and then we'll move on to another game. So look forward to, uh, you know, to, to another series at some future point. I'll, I'll decide on a game and, and play that. But in the meantime, if you're happy with today's episode and you want to see more, I really would appreciate a, uh, a like and a subscribe. I'd like to have you back. Um, and uh, that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. And I'll see you in the next one.